and we have a lot of breaking news and current events in sport to go over today. And first and foremost, in the tennis world, Dominic Thiem will reportedly retire at the end of the season in Austria at the Vienna Open. It's a tragic circumstance in terms of his tennis career. Only a few years back, he was contending for Grand Slams, winning the US Open, and it's all fallen off a cliff for Dominic Thiem. First up, he had the mental doubts and the lack of motivation following winning the 2020 US Open, and then following that in 2021, he wasn't exactly the same player, but following a wrist injury in Mallorca before the Wimbledon in 2021, he just really struggled to be the same player ever since. And he has talked about how he has to accept that he's a different player. But now, perhaps as the tweet suggests from the tennis letter, he's had a terrible time with injuries and just hasn't been able to rediscover the magic. And he has tried, but perhaps he doesn't believe it. He has notified his sponsors and agents and whatnot of his intention to retire and it's breaking devastating news in the world of sports and tennis moving on last night we had the paris saint germain and borussia dortmund semi-final second leg in the uefa champions league and may i say it was an upset Borussia Dortmund got their revenge from four years back, upsetting Paris Saint-Germain. Paris just couldn't hit a barn door. My God, they were just missing everything. Post, left, right and centre, and it wasn't their day. Some great defence from Borussia Dortmund were able to withstand the looming attack of PSG and even score the only goal of the game thanks to Mats Hummels. What a great performance. What can I say? The real feel-good story from this Borussia Dortmund team is how Marco Royce and Mats Hummels are the two players remaining from the 2013 Champions League final team, and they're still there. Marco Royce leaving at the conclusion of the season, Mats Hummels, who knows, perhaps a bit longer. It's nice to see that a couple of those players of that great team are still around. You have Lewandowski, you have Bender, you have Gundogan, among many, many others. Some great Splashikovsky, some great players there. But the real story that we always love to focus on the individuals in the media is talking about how that was potentially and probably is Kylian Mbappe's final game for PSG for now. Who knows, he might make a comeback towards the end of his career some 10 years from now. But for now, it looks like he'll be making the move to Real Madrid. And the next time you see Real Madrid and Kylian Mbappe in the Champions League next season, it might look like this with perhaps a number 15 instead of number 14. We'll see what happens tonight against Bayern Munich and the final potentially against Borussia Dortmund. I personally would like to see a Borussia Dortmund Bayern Munich final, a repeat of 11 years ago. I would like to see either Marco Royce or Harry Kane get a Champions League. I historically respect Real Madrid, but this season I'm not too astonished by their level of football. I believe they're quite, they were quite cagey and lucky to beat Manchester City, but there you go. Opening myself up to some hate from Real Madrid fans, but I wouldn't be upset if they were to win because historically I do like them. And moving on, the final story is this is insane. It sure is. The Anthony Edwards-led Minnesota Timberwolves are on the verge or upsetting the defending champions, number two seeds, Denver Nuggets, this big theory of sorts. You've got Anthony Edwards, the modern MJ, Carl Anthony Towns, the solid all-star center, and then you have Rudy Gobert, the new father, as seen in this graphic, who actually missed game two. Can the Nuggets turn it around? We'll see. A lot of fans in this channel of Jokic will be hoping that the MVP, which we'll get onto in a moment, can turn it around. But they'll have to win game three. There's no coming back from 3-0. That's never happened in the NBA, and it almost happened last season, but... You can't let that happen to lose another game. You're going to, at the very least, have to win game three and then going to probably have to win out from there or be almost perfect. We'll see what happens. All the Denver Nuggets players are going to have to lift up their game. That includes Jamal Murray, who made an absolute boneheaded mistake by throwing a heat pack on the court. Very lucky to only get a fine, albeit of $100,000. He could have easily been suspended for interrupting the game like that on purpose. Quite immature from Jamal Murray. A great Timberwolves team, a team that has earned my respect. And just quickly to finish off, this might be Nick Leokic tomorrow. He is said to be presented with the MVP trophy. It might be somewhat bittersweet for Nikola Jokic. Perhaps they're trying to rush in the trophy ceremony, given that perhaps they might not even return to Denver. In this picture, Dirk Nowitzki, some 17 years ago, was handed the MVP trophy after being upset against Golden State in the first round of the playoffs. Although he won the trophy, he wasn't all too happy. Will it be a repeat of 2007, where an MVP was upset early on? We'll see. Still a long, long way to go in that series. And if the Denver Nuggets are able to play well, led by Nikola Jokic, they can turn it around. They have the championship DNA, and we'll see. It's a lot of news today in the sports world, and there'll be some more tomorrow with Real Madrid, Jokic's MVP, and whatever else. Until next time.